Welcome back. Today I'm going to be cooking up a shepherd's pie. Now the original shepherd's pie was made with lamb. They either used chopped lamb or they used ground lamb. And uh, I'm not going to use lamb. You can use it if you like. I'm not a big fan. I'm going to use some ground beef. So you're going to need at least a pound of ground beef. You're going to need some carrots. You're going to need some peas. I like to add a little green bean to my shepherd's pie. And a little bit of corn. You're going to need some potatoes. And you're going to need some gravy. You can make your own gravy. I'm using store-bought. It's going to come out just as well. So stick around and I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, the first step of the process is to, uh, you have to peel, and um, I've sliced my t potatoes, and they are in a little salted water, and I'm going to cook them, um, bring them to a boil and cook them, and then I'm going to mash them. So that's, that's the first step. Now you're going to want to make sure your potatoes are done. And how you do that is you take a fork and you poke it into your potato. And if it comes out, goes through there nice and easy, then they're done. All right. I'm going to let this boil about one or two more minutes and then I'm going to take them off, drain them, and we'll get started. As you can tell, these are nice and flaky. They just came out. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these cool for a little bit um, before I get them mashed up. So with your potato masher, you're going to go ahead and just start mashing your potatoes. I find it interesting, and I don't mean to be sarcastic or facetious or anything else like that, but I, I do find it interesting that a lot of people today, or this generation, this new generation, not my generation, but the younger generation, um, they don't know how to make mashed potatoes from scratch. And they certainly have never, you could, they don't know what this is. It's a potato masher. I'm not making fun of anybody. Um, that's, just, that's just the involvement that we've come to in this day and age. Um, everything's done for us in the grocery stores, and all we have to do is just pick up a package. And simple and easy, with our busy lives... Um, I guess that's just the way it is. Anyway. Alright, so you want to get these all mashed up. Now, I like to add a little salt. And a little bit of pepper. And we're going to add in our butter. And we're going to add in a little bit of milk at a time because we don't want them too watery. So we're just going to add a little bit at a time. We may end up needing a little bit more milk, but we'll see what the consistency is.
again you're going to be putting this on top of the pie so you want it you want it spreadable so you want it kind of creamy but you don't want it too creamy that it's not going to um, hold up Let me give this just a little bit of a taste. See about the uh, the flavor. I think it needs a little bit more butter. And just a little bit more milk. Now remember, you can always add, but you can't take away. So that's why you lose a little bit at a time. I think I want just a little bit more milk in there. It might just take the rest of it without too much of a problem. got a good consistency to it. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, ground beef here. I like to add some seasoning before I start to brown it. So we add some seasoned salt. some garlic powder some onion powder and that's it for right now We may add a little bit more as it continues to cook. We'll taste it in a little bit and see where we're at with it. We're going to let this brown up. And you can see it doesn't take that long to get it to where it's starting to brown. But you do want it to be fully cooked all the way through. So you don't want to see any pink in your pan. Okay, so this actually came out pretty good. I didn't have to add. I added a little sprinkle more of garlic powder and a little sprinkle more 
of the onion powder and a little sprinkle more of the seasoned salt. That was it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, because I'm going to use some of this juice for the gravy, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this meat and I'm going to put it in a separate bowl. doesn't have a lot of juice to it. But it's going to be enough to give an added flavor. And it's really okay if you miss a couple pieces. Okay, we're going to add in our beef gravy mix. Get it all in there. We're going to start to heat this up a little bit. Get that all mixed in there. I actually am going to add just a little bit of water. Not a lot of water, just a little bit. Okay. And we really want it nice and thick. Now, I'm going to add just a splash of Worcestershire sauce, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> it's always been a hard one for me. And a little bit of some beef bouillon base. That looks like uh, about a quarter teaspoon. Let's mix that in there. And we're going to want it nice and thick. So we're going to add just a little bit of water. I mean, I'm sorry. A little bit of flour. Not a lot. Gonna thicken that up a little bit. And we'll get to the right consistency. Now get those lumps out of there. So you see it's, it's thickening up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I don't want it to get too thick just yet. Okay. Could go ahead and give this a taste. That's delicious. That is delicious. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw them the beef, the meat, back in here. All right. So in goes our meat. Back into the mix. See, all gone. I'm going to mix that thoroughly through. Now 
Now would be a good time to preheat our oven. 375. And we're going to rinse and drain our veggies and we're going to also toss them in here. Okay, so now I have my vegetables in here. I'm just going to toss them lightly. I actually only added about a half a can of the corn. Sometimes corn could be a little overpowering to a dish. Um, and I added about three quarters of a can of the peas. So we're just gonna um, mix this up nice and gentle so that it gets thoroughly mixed up in that gravy. Doesn't that look good? Now we're going to take our mashed potatoes and we're just going to spoon them onto the top of our pie. spoon here. See where we're at with it. You definitely want a good topping. Nice thick topping. So we'll add a little bit more over here. If you made too many potatoes, it's okay. Um, you know, you could take them and make uh, potato patties with them and use them for breakfast the next day if you like. Or you can uh, put them in the freezer and save them for another night's dinner if you like. It's up to you. You can feed them to your chickens, your pigs, or whatever else you have running around your yard. They like it. Don't feed it to your dogs, though. It's going to be bad for them. Pardon my finger. All right. That should be all right. Now you can take a fork if you like and make some little decorative little grapes in your in the top of your pie So just for fun, 
just for fun. You can top it with just a little bit of cheese. Add a little bit of extra flavor. There you go. I'll bring you back. Will you look at that? This just came out of my oven. And you can see it's a nice golden brown. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, it smells amazing. It smells so good right now. It actually cooked in my oven at 375 for just about 30 minutes to get that nice golden brown color on top. I'm definitely going to let it cool down a little bit before I cut into this. All right. Let's try this. This dish is really hot. Get all that goodness out of there. Doesn't that look good? Let's try this, shall we? It smells amazing. It smells totally amazing. Let's take a look at this. Get this up there. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. It smells amazing! Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Excuse me. Really delicious. Hey, guys, do me a favor. Look down in your right corner of your screen. and There's a little bell down there. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, you will know the next time I upload... A video of some great excellent comfort food I've got some great ideas coming great recipes on on their way I want you to stick around I want you to come back okay I want you to come back and see me all right shepherd's pie it's amazing it's just so 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 good alrighty be safe be well and be kind. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.